call Dr. Cohen. Calling Dr. Cohen. Work. <sighs> Megan, how is the big day going? It's great. My office is all set up and I am awaiting my first patient. That's fantastic. This is a big step for you. Your first day, hanging your own shingle. And I couldn't have done it without you. Well, we all need mentors, Megan. Now remember, you are in charge. You're the therapist. You'll do fine. I am definitely the therapist. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye, Megan. What? 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 I'm going to make it to be my therapist. Ah, then, then, maybe she would listen to me and call you and tell you all about it, and then, and then you would be listening to me indirectly. You feel I don't listen to you, Jeremy? Hmm? You were talking to Megan during my session. You were hyperventilating. I had some time, so I decided to multitask. But now, here we are. Having a conversation. You with the talking, me with the listening, and even the responding. So I do listen to you, Jeremy. So tell me, what do you really want? I want you to tell my mother to stop going through my things. If you were to move out, get a place of your own, this might not be an issue. young adult novel. You read it? That's so amazing. That character was totally inspired by you. I just changed the name from Amelia to Amy. Yeah, not a big change. I can't believe you're here. Please sit down. Are you still an alcoholic? What? Do you still think you're a vampire? I am a vampire. That's so great. I can't believe you're my first patient. I can really help you. I'm a licensed therapist now. I can get you into a good drug rehab program and I can help you with your delusions. Uh, screw it! You need to stop writing about my life now! What? It was just the one book. One book? One book too many, okay? I talked to you for one hour in an airport bar. I poured my heart out to you and you turned my life into an ebook? An ebook that got up to 137 on Amazon. Look, I know you might have a few questions about confidentiality and all that, but... Hey, how's the search for the soulmate going? Ugh, it's horrible. Oh my god. Awesome. Look, I know he's somewhere in Miami, but I can't seem to make a good connection with him. And I think our connection is fading. Frankly, I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to find him again. Okay, well then let's deal with that. When was the last time you were able to find him? 1963, London. Okay, go on. Well, we had finally gotten serious. I, I mean, he'd even introduced me to his parents. But then he freaked out and decided to join the French Foreign Legion. And of course, he got himself killed in Algeria. Algeria, wow. Okay, and then? Well, how far back do you want to go? Let me see. That was right before the French Revolution. The French Revolution, huh? That was a long time ago. I know, right? Oh, it's so good to talk to someone about this stuff. I mean, I never really get to talk to anyone. You should. That's why I'm here. I think I can really help you. French Revolution. Well, you know, my favorite uh, interview with a vampire, because it got a lot of things right. Mm. Girl, I will watch anything with Brad Pitt in it. Yeah, I, I could really empathize with this character. Sometimes, I wish I could just die. Oh, totally. Angelina Jolie is so lucky. <sighs> Wait, you're not going to write about me anymore, are you? No, no, I can't anymore. I'm a professional therapist. <laughs> 
Plus, I'm writing one about werewolves now. So, But you know what? Let's dig in and get to the bottom of why you feel like you're a vampire. I feel like a vampire because an evil bitch turned me into a vampire, drained Ahmet, my soulmate, and then made me drink his blood, which then, of course, cursed us for all of eternity. Have you been drinking today? No, but I'm going to as soon as I leave here. Well, I don't recommend that. Honey, I've been drinking since before your ancestors were fighting the Romans in the Rhineland, okay? Romans in the Rhineland. That's cute. Now, when we met before in the airport bar, I do remember you being drunk, but I don't remember you actually drinking. Yeah... I started before you sat down. Thanks for the tea. It was a nice change. So it sounds to me like you tend to drink when you are around others who are drinking. <laughs> well, here's the thing about vampires. We don't metabolize alcohol like regular humans do. So, in order for us to get drunk, we actually have to drink the blood of someone who's already drunk. Get it? I really wish I had known that for my ebook. That's fascinating. No, it's a pain in the ass. God, I wish I could just knock back tequila shots. So, was Ahmed... Ahmed. Ahmed? Ahmed. I think that's what I'm saying. Ahmed. There's no K. Ahmed? Ahmet. Ahmet. Was your soulmate one of the people whose drunken blood you drank? Yeah, the very first time. You were remembering something there, weren't you? Oh, good catch, Dr. Freud. I am not Dr. Freud. <laughs> okay, I want to try something. I want you to think back to the first time you saw... Ahmet. Ahmet. And I want you to picture his face, okay? But keep your eyes open. Okay. Okay. Do you see him? Yeah. Okay. Now visualize him in Miami. Tell me what you see. Oh, my God. I'm there. He's walking into a building. It's the Miami PD building. People are nodding. and He's a cop! Oh! Wow, oh that was really amazing. According to your eye accessing cues, you really believed all that. Yeah, 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 of course. You're fantastic. You're magic. I gotta go. Uh, I gotta get back? What? No, what? no, 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 no. We still have to address your alcoholism. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that. Oh, um, do you have a card? C can I call you? Yes, new cards. New cards. What did I... I? I gotta go. Wait, no, 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 no. They were very expensive. I'll call your receptionist. No, you're not here. Oh, great. I'll call you when I get back to my house. Okay, great. Share it with any alcoholic friends. Great first patient. She better have insurance. <laughs>